A lot of Palu. Fun fact, actually, ever since the patch, Xeno has ended like an hour earlier. That is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go into the game one on the PS2. And yeah, we're sitting with the Fox, not just the hand warmers. It's going to be the real deal. Oh my god, Nair's coming out already from the buzz, trying to keep a man on the side. And especially, you want to edge guard Fox as much as possible. Try to force him to go for that Fire Fox because it comes a lot easier from there. And he's catching all of his jumps right now, too. A big thing we're going to see is the utilization of that down tilt. It two frames the side B and the Fire Fox so easy. Very smart going high there to get away from that up smash. Exactly. And we saw the buzz go for that down air on the Fire Fox. It's definitely going to be something Jen has to watch out for if he does get caught off stage below the ledge. Okay, cute little string there starting out. Trying to get the sledge trap perfectly out spaces the nair from ledge from the buzz and gets the back air. But still keeping him in the defensive mode right now. He's actually clawing his way back into this too because he was he had a pretty large deficit at the start. But he's starting to chip his, uh, like his way back in and that's a yep. big factor you need to do against Pali. You can't let her steamroll you like that. Definitely not. The melee-esque Nair playing combos mm. almost brings her right back 70%. But the Nair... Wow, what the hell? Straight hit if I ever huh? seen one. Look, I'm... I'm just saying, if he wants to open up a charity to give me some donations like he gave to that DI, I'm all for it. <laughs> Whoa, I, I mean, I'm sure he was just caught up equally as guard as we were. Probably yeah. didn't even expect that last hit in there to connect, but man, that's those lingering hitboxes from Paul Lutana. They catch you slipping like that. That's the catch-all that is Nair, the combo starter, the combo finisher. If you are a good character in this game, you have a good Nair. That's yeah. just the way it is True. so far in this early meta. All right, the rules, man. All right, wow, big auto reticle. Oh no, here we go, setting up for the edge guard. Ooh. Ooh, clean. Edged his way a little bit forward that time too. He was just missing it the other time. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure this covers the two frame. You decided to commit to that side, be a little bit too early, but pay for it. Yeah, going right off the top. One more time, last stock, but I don't know, Jen can even it up. We've seen so many near into anything from light. I'm sure Jen was taking notes. I mean, if he really wants to succeed, as we've all seen it, just there it is. It was shielded, yes, yep. but just start throwing it out. It's eventually going to hit. Hit him with the Pele. And if I could quote Light, oh my god. every time he loses, he says, man, I wish I just nared more. <laughs> I think maybe Jen's got to take some uh, pages out of his playbook. Yeah, and the thing is, I mean, right when we watch uh, players like Light, right, I mean, he's known for how hyper-aggressive he is. Like, he's so Ooh. much on one end of the spectrum of aggression. Right. Like, it, it's hard to compare anyone else to him, but we have someone who's playing a little more relaxed, a little more laid back, and, you know, it's making it seem like the buzz feels very comfortable. I mean, the buzz, no one can camp I out mean, the buzz. Exactly. The, the king of reserved, slow, smart play, the buzz is just so hard to trip up like that, and he's trying really hard to match his pace. He's trying to give him a lot of respect. It's just, it's just not working so far. Like this two stock deficit, he's really got to work on making some adjustments going into potentially a game, the following game. I think he's doing it though. He had set up the auto reticle punish 60% just from the combo after Jen got in from that bait, staying in that mid range and forcing ooh, the option out from ooh. the buzz. Now he's cooking. All right, so see that's the thing. I had to, I had to oh, no. like oh. disrespect it a little bit so he could shut me up. Right, he's right. making the huge adjustment. Just took the stock, bringing it back to the last stock. One more bicycle kick for the fans. One to one right now. The buzz. Probably one straight hit away, though, as we know. That could be it. Oh, no. Yeah, and that's the thing. And especially, this is Smash Ultimate, man. You can't shorten that side B. The moment you press that button, you are committed to the entire ride. And he had gone for that exact same uh, kind of like ledge slash a little bit above the ledge angle uh, one, one too many times, man. Right, right. He didn't even test to see uh, how much the buzz was willing to go off stage to edge guard him, right? We haven't seen the buzz go off in like nair or try to down air the up B. So, uh, you know, it's, it's worth it to throw it out. Yeah. But, I mean, good thing for all ladies watching at home. Jen is not afraid of commitment. Went right for that side <laughs> B into the up smash. He did not care. And it's still stressful too because if he decides to go low, you already know yeah. the buzz wants him to go down exactly. there. He's gonna dig down for that nair. He doesn't even need to commit to the down air unless he goes too low, he's gonna snipe it out. Right. But it's just so scary to try and challenge Palu in that direction. And he, and then there is the other mix-up that he does have at his disposal where he can just decide to up B in the scenarios where he would side B. The timing will completely throw off the person trying to edge guard. Exactly. And just make it back because like, oh man, he really got me mixed right there. But we're heading right into game two and already to down throw to Nair double. Will we see three? Not quite the up air, not connect. I don't know. Speaking of mix though, Flambo evens it right back up with the little bit of the aerial combo there. Now, Jen trying to... Take what little lead you can get with these lasers. You gotta take every lead you can get. It, it's the buzz is definitely one of the people who has reacted properly to lasers. Right. There are many times and light him uh, and other good foxes have said, I shoot lasers and people hold shield. Yep. I don't know why. <laughs> right, but right. they just run in and you see the buzz of doing like punishing it accordingly, but Jen is really making a lot of good adjustments now, keeping him trapped at the ledge. I think Jen is also doing a really good job putting the mid-range pressure on. He forced another auto reticle out of the buzz now with the buzz is getting punished for it. Oh, 
You're gonna get in Punish AG. My man eating a boot to the face. Gonna go ahead and lose that first stock. Jen looking like he's playing a much better game. We saw the adaptation in that game one toward the latter end. He was figuring something out. The cogs returning in the brain, but will it be enough? I think it's looking like it might. Flambo, 85% still on the first stock. That's a pretty good percent. You know, we, he needs to be at like 120 to die to those nares. So as long as he doesn't run into more of those up smashes, still looking all right. It doesn't seem like Jen's slowing down either. Like, he's really consistently putting on this pressure. He's removed the reserve play now that he has the stock up. Right. Trying to get as much extra oh. as he can. <laughs> That's not the way to go, though. I liked it. I like the decision change because yes. he's been punished. But the buzz was already ready for it. The buzz was so stoic, dude. He was ready the whole time. And that's one of the things about playing this game. And the buzz in particular, the amount of patience he's ready to exude at any given moment. Sometimes the best option is just to do nothing at all, and it'll come to you. And that's a lot about playing a neutral in this game. Sometimes you don't need a fish. You will find the kill, or rather, it'll find its way to you. Exactly, man. Sometimes you just put the net out, and they walk right into it. Big combo here in Classic. Down throw in the back air. The buzz even it up. I think if Genesis 6 just like attributes to anything, slowing down and just walking, yeah. really controlling the pace of the game, it's really strong in this game. We've seen a lot of aggressive play from the likes of Light, Mars, MK, Leo, and the Buzz in that situation, yes. getting that back here. But it's really smart to just slow it down. But I think the Buzz is finally starting to get a little bit used to this pace that he's starting to change up. Yeah, but the Buzz sitting on a very tiny shield right now. You know, there we go. That's going to be maybe a poke even, just depending on how small that Ooh. Oh, no, we have not too long. I caught him sleeping at the wheel, man. A little bit of taunt. I love the, the little taunt there. You just hear Fox talking some smack. Always got to feel yourself. Any way to get yourself amped up, especially against someone like the Buzz, yeah. you need to try and get into his head if possible. And a big thing when it comes to players like him, if you're not being unorthodox, you're not throwing him off and trying to like change his pace, he ain't going to fall for it. Oh, Ooh, oh, oh missed wow. big damage opportunity there. Few two levels, few too many levels deep there. Okay, we're gonna get, uh, what does Raptor call that? The mac and cheese? You know, <laughs> yeah. oh we, we, we don't stand that in New England, j nah, just so y'all know, but shout out to Raptor for holding it down here. But we're gonna see if Jen is actually gonna be able to close this one out. He racked up 32%, already gonna get sent off stage. Does the Buzz have the Edgar? Oh, wow, the Buzz is going off. And I think the Buzz is doing a really good job of mixing up the pace now. You can see him weaving in and out, sort of forcing an option from Jen and then punishing it. Super smart. Oh. I like the fact that the Buzz kind of made it look like he had no option for that recovery that he took. Ooh, Ooh almost catching him on the jump. But if you see him go for that Shine Soul again, guarantee the Buzz drops down and goes for that Nair. He yeah. let him feel comfortable enough, and now he's going to seek it out and actually punish it this time. Oh, around. careful. Yeah, he was pacing around the back here. The moment you find yourself jumping and the Palutena jumping as well, you need to be careful. You know that shield is coming, and there's not much you can do about it. Oh, the Buzz giving up all the stage control to go for that Trump, and now it's costing him. But reset neutral back throw. Oh! Yeah, that time is. he sunk a little bit deep, but immediately covering it. It is so important to make sure you deal with those edge guards against someone like Fox the moment the opportunity is there. Because once they get back on, it's hard to get them back off. What are you thinking right now? Oh, man, it was one of those things where last time that Jen was in the, that, oh, my God, words, hard, <laughs> in that exact English. same scenario. He had done a side B early, he drifted down, and he tried to double jump air dodge. That's when we saw the forward smash, right? Yeah. So the Buzz knew, all right, he tried this last time. He'll probably do it again because he didn't immediately punish the side B. So this time he did the side B, he was thinking, oh, I'm not going to get touched until I jump and do something else. And there was the Buzz ready and waiting with the Nair, getting him off stage. Exactly the same thing as with that Shine Stall. He's going to be seeking that out because he recognized that he's changing it up. I wonder if at some point he's going to use the Firefox Stall like you talked about, because that is a good option to adjust it. Because right now the Buzz has been really holding it down at the ledge, but I am impressed by the way that Jen has been really changing it up center stage. Mm -hmm. He just hasn't been able to cash it out. All right, big carry, but not the punish he was looking for. Ends up getting punished himself now. The Buzz taking back that stage control and keeping the combo going. Man, I don't know, man. I feel like I've seen the adaptations come out from Jen. He's been getting closer and closer with each game. Yeah. You know, that game one was looking like a stretch. It's hard to bring it back. That game two was last stock. Not quite last hit, but he was racking up damage. This could be the full adaptation, but just by judging how the Buzz is starting this game off, it could be wrapped for Jen. I was going to say, man, it could just be the exact opposite. In fact, the Buzz finally using all two of those previous games' knowledge to just take it home for this set. Pretty we'll sure see. that's the first explosive play and we see him throwing out two, trying to force the lower edge guard so he can go out to get that Nair. Right. Like you're seeing, he's really pulling out the extra bag of tricks now. Ooh, that man. back throw is going to take it. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunate. This runs right into her arms. Loving arms. Into the blast zone. And there he goes. Can't even use the laser for a second. The buzz is already sitting there with the reflex saying, man, don't, don't do it, man. I'll press down B. Oh, all right, nice. Some good shield pressure from Jen gets in that combo. Now he's on the hunt, looking for the stock, but looking a little too hard. Oh, OK, 
Okay, and this remix slapping in I'm the I'm just saying, this music slaps. <laughs> I can't stop dancing in the chair. Oh, wow. Huge dash attack. Well, good use of the falling aerial. up air, too, to catch him off guard. Oh! And actually, two framing at the ledge with the down smash. That is an excellent way to bring this back in the base. Definitely. We'll almost get stopped by the up air. That could have been disastrous for Jen, but now he's back in this. He needs to find a good opening. And I feel like, you know, compared to most boxes, he seems to be struggling in the department of landing full hop nair. You can get a, a, a few short hop nairs, but he hasn't been able to get that full uh, full hop land nair on shield and start the mixed game from there. He just can't seem to get close enough to the buzz. He's never quite close enough. It's stressful, too, because at any given point, if the buzz recognizes it's coming, he's going to do a short hop nair that's going to beat it out and rack up so much damage. But you see Jen committing to the ground game, and the buzz has really been winning a lot more on the ground game with his jabs, the fadeaway back airs. He's got to find a better way to open him up like those full hop nairs, yeah. hopefully. I think the only reason Jen had an opening now is the buzz messed up the drop zone back air and instead got the F-till on the platform, and it might cost him the stock right here. Oh, yeah, he cheats. Oh, I don't know about that. Running away, giving the Buzz Center Station, and going for the side B cheeky option, and it's going to cost him as the Buzz closes out this edge guard and potentially uh, taking this set right here if he gets the next stop. Right, and now, Jen. Oh. Huge start, though. But just like going and getting grabbed by Palutena, not a good way to start that last stock that you need to uh, at least three or four miracles on. But And a big thing that that high nair establishes these past few nairs he's gone for off stage yep. is that now he's going to make Jen feel so scared. He's going to try to recover early and get caught by one of these up smashes. The conditioning has been set for the buzz to really just mess with his recovery. Now down to his last stock. Jen needs to keep his composure, otherwise that's going to be it. There he goes. He's trying to weave his way in, but doesn't want to fall into any of the traps that the Buzz is heading out for him. The Buzz knows he has a lead, so he's not approaching. And look at this easy scenario he got for himself where now Jen is in the corner, fighting his way back to center. But man, that could have been an edge guard sequence from the Buzz had he guessed correctly. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, Jen has been pretty elusive in the last couple seconds. I think the Buzz is trying to force the issue here. Nice. Oh. Yeah, reading the tech in place. It's not going to kill it just yet, though, but another one of those should seal it out light. I'm just kidding, <laughs> Jen, uh, being rather light. Uh, that back throw gonna force him off stage yet again. What's the situation? Drops down, tries to read the jump, but able to avoid it. Oh, that almost killed, damn. Oh no, the counter coming in, almost killing as well. Explosive flame, putting the pressure on into Buzz, looking for the grab. Oh, we got the pivot and the throw, not enough. Somehow my man's is alive, gets caught by the Nair though. And that'll be it. Buzz 3-0 over Jen. Yo, he's, I've never seen that guy. Who is that guy? He just I don't know, but he's, he's raising brows I'm at saying. the stream. I'm saying, man. Look, at I'm saying, I look, I know Valentine's Day just ended. Yeah, I right. he's, he's trying to extend the game going on for him right <laughs> now. I'm surprised that throw didn't kill, but I'm, I knew yeah, that it was still, like, functionally dead. Yeah. The buzz wasn't going to mess that up. Like you said, we've been through so many mix-ups. He's, he's got all the information he could ever need. It was